To navigate in a model in Navisworks, there are a number of options. You can pan, you can zoom, you can orbit, look around, or you can walk. To pan the model, select the pan tool, and then using the left mouse button, you can click and drag, and then you can change the position of the model in the viewer. To zoom, there are a number of options. You can use the zoom window command to select an area of the model. Again, left mouse click, and it will zoom to an area. You can use the zoom command, then left mouse click, and you can zoom in and out. Another option is to select an object in the model and then use zoom selected and the view will change to that object or you can zoom all to see the whole model. One of the most useful tools is Orbit. Orbit allows to you to rotate the model so you can see it from a number of different angles. It's so like a helicopter view I guess. So you can fly around the model from the outside. Using a wheel mouse, use the scroll function and you can zoom in and the point of rotation will change to the, the cursor location. Walk is the most common used command. So select the walk command and then use the left mouse button. You can look left or right. You can move forwards or backwards. You can use the middle mouse button to change your elevation. Here we're moving forwards, and then you can go backwards by pulling away with your mouse. You have the option to turn on gravity, so as you walk around, the elevation will change depending on the terrain. So in this case, we're going down a car park ramp. And here you can again pan left, pan right. You can also view the model from the perspective of a third person. In this case, a construction worker it gives you a sense of scale. And with gravity and collision turned on, you will see point of impact. So you can navigate around objects, making it a bit more realistic. The third person will also crouch in confined spaces. And as you move around the model, he will pop in and out, depending on the surface he's walking on. Another way to navigate the model is using the view cube. You can see here that each of the faces is mouse sensitive, so if you click on one of the corners or one of the edges, it will change the view perspective of the model. This is a quick way of changing the angle that you're viewing. You can also drag and move around on the wheel. So you can see things from underneath, you can see things from the side. It's a useful tool to understand how to use.